One topic we need to look at in this module is how do we serve up the static assets that we typically use for client-side development. And by static assets, I mean those files that make up libraries like Bootstrap and jQuery. These are the JavaScript files, CSS files, images, fonts, and other assorted files that we typically have as part of our web project. By default, in ASP.NET Core, these files have to live in a special folder. Now, in ASP.NET Core, you can configure and reconfigure any type of behavior that you want. So it's not 100% required that these files live in this one special folder, but by default, the way ASP.NET Core is configured and set up is that static files can only be served from inside of the special www root folder that is in the project. So for example, if I have an image file like this odefood.png file here in the root of the web project, ASP.NET Core will not serve up this file. It will not have a successful response to a request that is asking for odefood.png. So here in the layout page for the application, I have an image tag that is asking for odefood.png from the root of the website. And if I save this and refresh the browser, I tried to place that image down here below the copyright, and you can see I have a broken link. As far as ASP.NET Core is concerned, that file does not exist. And this behavior is good. This means that someone cannot request something like my startup.cs file or my appsettings.json file because ASP.NET Core is not going to serve up content that is not inside of www root. But if I take this PNG file, odefu.png, and I'm just going to click and drag it into the www root folder, and by the way, you could download this file from GitHub if you want to try this also. But now odefu.png is in the root of my website as far as ASP.NET is concerned. If a request arrives for odefu.png at the root of the website, ASP.NET Core will be able to find this file. It will also be able to find a favorite icon. And you'll also notice this is where we have other static assets stored. For example, JavaScript libraries like jQuery and jQuery validation, as well as the JavaScript library for Bootstrap. This is where we can also store CSS files, like the CSS file for the Ode to Food site. So this is what I could open up and edit and modify if I wanted to change something like the default padding for the body of Ode to Food. But I want to show you that with odefu.png now inside of www root, I should now be able to refresh and see the layout page display odefu at the bottom below the copyright. And that image request is successful. Here's another example. If we go to the home page and let's right click on one of these images and say open this image in a new tab, we'll see the image is actually an SVG file, banner2.svg. And that's at localhost colon some port slash images slash banner 2svg So I would now know if I want to modify this image to come into the www root folder. There's my images folder, and there indeed is banner 2svg A little bit later in this module, I'm going to show you a trick that allows you to serve static files from other folders inside of your project and from the file system. But for right now, you just need to know that this is the default behavior. The www root folder serves as the content root for your website. So images and CSS files and JavaScript files, they all need to live somewhere inside of www root. And if we want to take advantage of features like client-side validation using jQuery validation, jQuery and these other script files need to be loaded from these folders inside of www root. Let's see how we do that in this ASP.NET Core project.